Hello Virgo, this is me, the gift of to Susie. Um, and I'm going to read your card for the week of the 28th of March. So angels, spirit guides, universe, what would you like Virgo, 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 to know about the energies for the week of the 28th of March for Virgo, please. Angels, spirit guides, universe, what would you like Virgo to know about the week of the 28th of March? Virgo, 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 what would you like Virgo to know about the week of the 28th of March for Virgo, please? Week of the 28th of March for Virgo, Angels, Spirit, Guides, Universe, what would you like Virgo to know about the week of the 28th of March for Virgo, 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 Angels, Spirit, Guides, Universe, what would you like Virgo to know about the week of the 28th of March, week of the 28th of March for Virgo, please, Angels, Spirit, Guides, Universe, what would you like Virgo to know about the week of the 28th of March, week of the 28th of March for Virgo, Virgo, many hold on don't throw all those out angel spirit guides universe for virgo please what would you like virgo to know about the week of the 28th of march please the week of the 28th of march for virgo for virgo what would you like virgo to know give me five more cards for virgo please angel spirit guides universe virgo they're being like you virgo particular all the rest of the cards this week have just flown out. Angels, spirit guides, universe for Virgo, please. Pick us the last card for Virgo. Angels, spirit guides for Virgo. What would you like Virgo to know about the week of the 28th of March? Here we go. Okay, Virgo, we have the moon at the bottom of the deck. Fertility, um, confusion, she's confused. Uh, could be something that happens under a full moon. It's the sign of cancer and it's emotional all right so it can also mean secrets exposed but you don't have enough information until the month of the moon so it might take another month before this this little bit of fogginess gets um shines um the, see the path of the moon is lit by the moon if it was lit by the sun you could see everything but you can't see much under the moon so things look different don't they um it's like the mind, the emotions. Five of Wands, Ten of Wands. Five of Wands is petty things going wrong, okay? People trying to push you off your path, little things going wrong, people are jealous of you, you're trying to get to the fleece and fight the dragon, you can't do it. Um, and this becomes a little bit of a burden for you, all right? You're burdened by your passions. I get this for you a lot, this Ten of Wands. It's like taking on too much, it's weighing you, you, you down and you can't see you're allowing other people's burdens to, to um, uh, you can't see your original passion. So he's looking at a house on the hill and the ride away is a little white house on the hill. And that's what he wants. And he's focused on that. And then, but on the way, he just picks up all these other sort of dramas and, and, and nothing is floating his boat. He's gone on an island. He's, he wants to be on his own. He's got the fleece that's not floating his boat. He's got the treasure that's not floating his boat. The boat's not even floating for his boat, right? So it's like you, you've got to get rid of some of these burdens and pe know that people are trying to get you off your subject, off your path, the thing that you should be getting, which is that you've already got the fleece, but you, the next quest. So you decide to start again. This is children. This is fertility and April and Aries and jumping into the unknown, a new journey, a new thing. You need it's like you want to shake these worries off your back. This feeling heavy. There's this feeling of oh, I'm just it's hard, just straighten your back. I'm even doing it now. Again, people are going. Well, why did you get that and we didn't get it? We want what you've got, and you're like, well, I. This is a battle of wills. This is people trying to battle you off your your platform um and you want to say i've worked really hard to get here right and i'm going to honor my feelings i'm going to fall in love with how i feel and what makes me happy it's an expression of love she's eating the golden apple and she's drinking from the golden cup pisces cancer scorpio this is emotional i'm going to my emotions tell me to eat healthily my emotions tell me that when I'm with you, I've got a headache, so I'm going to take some time out of my own. Things like that. It's just, what are you actually happy? Okay. You might, you know, these boundaries you're setting um, 
up here on a pedestal. People want you to come down. Do not come down to that level. You must stay up there and then let people express their love to you and love where you are, okay? You're going to be offered a promotion. There's something offered here at work. You're a step up the ladder. It's an upgrade. Because you honour what you love and what you feel, you get an upgrade. People have wanted to pay you for what you love, your passions, all right? You've got the strength and the courage and everything to fight this lion within, this battle, this monster, this, this ego, this like things that are preventing you from getting out of the cave. He can't, this man cannot get out of that cave to the light until, because there's something keeping him here, which is a big ferocious lion, right? <laughs> Could be seen with Leo. So you're battling that lion. You're saying, I'm getting out. I need to get out of my confine. I need to get out in, through my heart. I need to have the courage to be independent, to work on the thing that I've been working on for a very long time. You're about to get accolade for your passions here. Your book's about to be published. You're about to be seen. You're about to travel and you're going to do... It's, it's like something great is coming for you this week, Virgo. It's, it's an, the independence card. It's the card of... No one helped you get here but you. No one, you've gone from the three of pentacles, like a little promotion up the ladder, to feeling like the lion is strong. You're like, that's all I needed. It's, all, it's like all you needed was that boost that someone saw you or someone paid you for what you can do. And it's like, now I can expand. Now I've got the courage to do this. And immediately, people start loving you for what you do, for your independent uh, talents. You're tra and you're traveling, you could be traveling somewhere, um, you could be looking outside, looking after sick animals, or um, it's like this person could speak to the birds and the bees, there's something very earthed here, um, it's like a work for money, it's like, but you love doing it, um, the king of swords is here, doctor, lawyer, uh, Libra type person, fair, speaking their truth in their element of, of mind and knowledge of lo lots of knowledge um you're going to be guided spiritually you're going to be told secrets but of an esoteric higher nature your the high priestess here is listen to your dreams go with your gut feeling your gut is true your truth is here the truth of you is here your passionate thing that you only you've done and people can say oh we helped you get there up on that pedestal up on that thing and you're going to say no you effing didn't because i fought this dragon all by myself i took on a lot of other people's burdens i've jumped now i've started a new beginning into the zero point because everything was burdening me you still tried to f fight me for my platform I still was very loving and honoured honored my heart. You're given a promotion. You're allowed to be courageous and, and, and free and heartfelt. And this is a heart going through the heart, out through the heart. Because you love what you do. And if they could say, well, how did Virgo do that? And Virgo could say, well, how it's like your book being in, I always use the same thing, your book's in the drawer. It's in the book of the Greek mythology card. The, 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 you, you write under the stairs by candlelight, like J.K. Rowling, and then all of a sudden you bring that book out and you just send it to a publisher and that's it's a bestseller overnight. This is you. People say, we helped you. And you say, no, you didn't. I got here all by myself, independently. Uh, this, king of want, this king of swords wants to tell you something, wants to balance these things out, wants to make things legal. It might even be a published book. Um... The, the you have guardian angels looking after you spiritually your gut is on point so whatever you're told the truth here you go with your own gut your own instincts and again you're offered this contract at the end of the week this could be marriage this is a team this is this is a new quest a new quest that you're going to go on but you've got people to help you uh, and uh, a a team a partnership a house a foundation 
a foundation for a creative business, angels, spirit guides, universe. And it's almost guided to you from, it's like something you've dreamt of. It's like a dream come true. Angels, spirit guides, universe. What would you like Virgo to know about this week? Oh, look at that Virgo. This situation involves marriage, angels, spirit guides, Virgo, please, angels. I mean, the four of wands. New love, a new person stirred your romantic feelings. Ooh, this could be new love within a relationship. We've got trust. This situation is calling for you to have faith. Faith? Faith. Past life relationship, you have known each other before. This is this full energy, this, this new energy coming in this week. And it's something very, you feel very courageous, independent, you feel psychic, you feel guided towards it. It's some maybe it's something a relationship with a, a work team that you feel very familiar with, that you can trust this group of people. Your gut's telling you that. Your gut is telling you the right thing this week. Um, whether that's it's a new love and that is really causing you this confusion, um, you need to sit with with that and work what it is out and listen to your angels, listen to your dreams, write things down by the side of your bed, um, and and go. Everything is about feelings this week. Queen of Cups, how do I feel about this? The the High Priestess, how do I feel? Or is is my does does it give me a headache or if I'm with this person or do I want to be in this situation? How am I feeling? What's my body telling me? Um, let's ask the angels what they'd like Virgo to know. Virgo, Virgo, Virgo. There's the new love wedding trust. Oops, look, they've just shot out. <laughs> oh God, I'll take those ones. Your children on earth and in heaven are happy and well cared for by God and the angels. Have faith and hope because there is something positive and new on the horizon that you can't yet see. To help heal this situation, see the other person's point of view with compassion and see only love. Look past the seeming errors, mistakes and misunderstandings and see only the love within each person, including yourself. Your resolute focus upon the love that underlies every situation brings about healing in undreamed of ways. Crystal clear intentions. Be clear about what you desire and focus upon it with unwavering faith and this is the archangel michael with the sword it's very protective you're very protected this week esoterically with the angels the angel you have a guardian angel and there's a new quest at the end of this week you've been very compassionate towards other people as well you're just showing who you are as a heartfelt person independently and um i, I think that People are seeing that and you create a foundation around you. You create something solid and creative around you. Oh, perfect timing. This was on this, on this. Now is the perfect moment for you to act on your inspirations. The doors are open while you walk through them with us by your side. Don't delay or procrastinate as all the ingredients are ripe for your success. Everything and everyone is on your side, supporting a positive outcome. Yes, you've got this group on your side for this work, this this creativeness, this. It's like a dream come true. Take care, Virgo. I'd love to know what it is. Um, my daughter's a Virgo, and she just got me this amethyst. So I'm sending the healing out through this. <laughs> Take care, Virgo, and please like, share, and subscribe. Um, bye bye.